What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're here at the 2021 edition of SEMA in Las Vegas. And of course, we had a stop at the Mopar booth because as many of you know, Mopar or no car. And I got one type of a Mopar muscle car for you. This is a 2022 custom build known as Holy Guacamole. It's a Dodge Challenger RT Scat Pack wide body with the shaker hood. So before we get into this Hemi powered muscle car of a version of perfection, let's talk about what's going on here. Dodge, the Dodge brothers have been doing it for so many decades, creating a company that in the 21st century, nobody does muscle car better than Dodge and Mopar. Now Mopar, what does that mean? Motor parts taken up, shortened down, and now really is that iconic existence within Dodge that you know you're gonna get something extra special, extra performance oriented, but also something some, with extra style. Now, when it comes to this Dodge Challenger behind me, the folks at Dodge decided to bring out a special color, and it's part of a nationwide competition to create a new color for the Challenger. And one thing that Dodge and the Challenger especially including the Charger, has been known for are these fantastic colors. Now, the color is affectionately known as Rotten Avocado, but the actual build is being called Holy Guacamole because when you see it, that's exactly what happens when you drop your jaw and just see the perfection. Now, when it comes to muscle cars and the other brands from the likes of the Camaro and the Mustang, I really truly believe that Dodge does muscle car better than nobody else. They are at the top of their A game. So what I want to find out is, should this go into production? Would this be a challenger with the right mods that you would want to have in your garage, take to the strip, take to the auto shows and cars and coffee events? So let's go ahead, let's dive in and have a little bit of guacamole. Right off the bat, the color. Even though it's called rotten avocado, there's nothing rotten about it. I love this tinge of green and it seems that greens are making a comeback in the auto industry. Now, starting at the front of the business, going with that wide body, of course, you're gonna have that additional three inches of width, and that is really gonna give it that nice, menacing, aggressive muscle car look. With that beautiful paint job all the way around, that fender flare coming into that front splitter. The splitter is so large, you could actually have a couple tacos with some guacamole on it for lunch. Lori's actually gonna have her lunch right here on the splitter, but as we come across, the front, love the quad headlight design. You have this nice satin silver finish, Challenger 50 badge. So this is technically built on that Challenger 50 anniversary edition, celebrating all those years of Challenger going all the way back to 1970. Functionality up top, functionality down below. But like I said, with the silver accents, with the flat black, it really makes it perfectly. Now going up onto the hood, the interesting thing was, is that with the 50th anniversary, that allowed you to have a wide body with the shaker hood style. But remember, you can go into your Dodge dealership and get a Scat Pack Now wide body with that 392 cubic inch Hemi and get the optional shaker hood. This really sets it apart from the rest of the muscle car pretenders has that great style and functionality. So remember, air is gonna ram into that center section with the satin silver looking clean with the rotten avocado paint job. Now, when we come around the bend, I'm really digging what they did with the style of the wheels. So these are forge line wheels. And instead of going with like a Krager mag, which was very popular in 1970 to put on your muscle car, this really gives it that classic 1970 style but I don't think Krager Mags would have been the right wheel choice for this build. I think these forge lines really fit it to a T. So you have this beautiful machined aluminum finish to it, looking really great. The gloss black accents, of course, you're gonna have those six piston Brembo calipers, that over 15 inch rotor slotted and ventilated, and it's a two piece rotor. And you have adaptive dampers all four corners. Plus you have this beautiful 20 inch wheel. And I think another thing that sets it off besides the Mopar lowering springs are going to be the raised white letters. Such a classic look on this new age custom build of a muscle car. With that fender flare, you see that shaker popping through. Just there's nothing more powerful than a Challenger. Another thing I want to kind of showcase is how they did a ghost stripe. So they actually have these stripes painted on the car that are really, really light. 
sort of like a ghost flame, but instead of a flame, this stripe goes all the way down the side, and as we continue down the side, this is where things are gonna get really, really creative. With, obviously, your color match mirror caps. On the inside, they really brought a retro, old school feel to holy guacamole with the way that they did the interior. And we're gonna show more of that in a second when we open up the doors, but we're gonna keep working our way towards the rear. Now, when we get to the rear, Obviously, you're gonna have that wider tire, get the power to ground. We're talking about 305s, all four corners, that beautiful forge line wheel, nice design. Is this the wheel that you would want on your Challenger? I'm gonna say, heck yes, especially, like I said, with the Brembo brakes, nice size rotors. Look at the way they did the 50th badge here. Beautiful how it just comes into the rear fender. And as we swing around the back here, what you're gonna see is that nice satin black Trunklet spoiler gives it that perfect look. The Challenger 50 badge pops right off of the rear of the vehicle. And then as we kind of swing down, I'm gonna swing around. Nice finish with the satin silver around it. Painted all the way through. The only thing I would have changed is the exhaust. Maybe put a quad tip exhaust, something a little different, but you got the guac plate because of the holy guacamole. But why don't we go ahead Let's pop the hood and see what's powering this custom Mopar build. All right, guys, holy guacamole is definitely the name of the game when you look underneath the hood. I love seeing that massive opening for the shaker hood. Such a classic design that, like I said, really takes you back to those early muscle car eras. But what are we looking at underneath the hood? We're looking at that 6.4 liter Hemi V8, 392 cubic inches. And remember, there's that old saying, there's no replacement for displacement. I know Hellcat owners would argue that, but definitely nice linear torque delivery. You'll notice that this one has a Mopar cold air intake, that nice bright Mopar blue cone-shaped performance filter, gonna get us a little bit of extra power, a little extra performance. And then I also love the bright orange additions underneath that hood, that Hemi orange color. So much history with that name, obviously so much history with the horsepower of this vehicle. Now, the great news about the Scat Pack that I've always liked is that with this uh, 392, you could get a six-speed manual or the Torque Flight eight-speed automatic. And when it comes to that whole setup, you're looking at zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds, top speed 185 miles an hour, and the vehicle weighs 4,236 pounds. The great news at the end of the day is you're looking at 485 horsepower, 475 pound-feet of torque, and just that shaker hood, like I said, looks so menacing. But why don't we go ahead? We talked about the outside. We talked about the guacamole underneath this hood. Let's get to the interior and see what special things are happening for this SEMA build. All right, guys, I hope you're ready for a little fiesta. Actually, a big fiesta because holy guacamole is absolutely stunning. Not only on the exterior, but definitely get your tacos and burritos because there's a party on the interior. Now, the great news is these are ideas that Dodge is kind of bouncing around in their head, but let me know what you think. Should they build? Would you want to buy a vehicle like this that has these changes? But why don't we see what you're getting if they did do this to the door panels. You'll notice you get the nice soft black material. We have that plaid green and yellow. Talk about a fiesta, talk about a celebration. In the back portion of the door panel, you have a perfect slot for a taco with extra guac. But remember, guac costs extra, but you could have that extra guac. And then we have an actual burrito holder in the front portion of the door panel. You just stand it up and slide it right in. Now going from the door panel to the dash, check it out. I love this special holy guacamole badge just ties everything in together. And then talk about 1970, we have wood style trim in here, that classic wood trim with the 8.4 inch Uconnect 4 system. But this style here just takes it back to an easier time when it came to muscle car power. More wood on the center area with that eight speed torque flight transmission sending power to the rear wheels. You got a place here for a small bottle of Tabasco sauce. And then guess what? You better have two large waters, actually two bottles of milk to cool your mouth because that's what's gonna cool the heat of this spicy taco. And then the seats. Love the way they took the plaid color, the nice Alcantara, the leather, everything's so sharp 
on the passenger side, but you know what? It's not just about the passenger. Come on over to the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of Holy Guacamole. Hi guys, business time here at SEMA, working through obstacles, but you know we keep the camera footage coming to you. Sitting in here, you know the amount of space you have in this muscle car. It's got the most room. The seats feel extra comfy, especially with that beautiful black plaid style. The one thing I would have done, and I am going to have to zonk this awesome build, is the steering wheel. Steering wheel needs some holy guacamole poured all over it. But you do have the wood style trim all the way over to the driver's side and the classic analog gauges that you would come to expect from your muscle car. Now I know you want to go on throttle with me. I want to go on throttle as well. Maybe one day we'll get the chance, fingers crossed, to drive holy guacamole. But until that day, let's wrap it up here from SEMA. All right, guys, it's been an amazing time here at the Mopar booth at SEMA. Definitely want to thank Scott and the rest of the Mopar gang for allowing Radies Rides access to Holy Guacamole. Let me know what you think. Does this have the right mods? Would you want an example like this to where you could just buy it right from your Dodge dealership? Put it in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. I'll come back for more. If you are a subscriber, Thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to the muscle behind the camera. She's working it like a champ. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.